If you could imagine your best life, what would it look like? What heights do you hope to reach? What dreams have you had but have then been forced to let go because of the present circumstances that surrounds you? One thing you should know is that there is no limit to what you can be or do as far as God is concerned. He made you to show forth His glory and destined you for greatness. Within you lies the seed to become a forest, to be big and great, to shine and become a light that many flock to. You just have to come to the realization of the plans God have for you and begin to walk in line with this. It is possible that you've been through so much in the past few years. Maybe your job doesn't even pay you enough for you to settle your bills. Maybe all you've experienced is disappointment and rejection. Maybe you've had to struggle all your life and no matter what you do or come up with, nothing seems to work. All of that doesn't matter when you put your hope and trust in God. He's the one that has the power to make wealth and take you places you never imagined you could get. Let hope rise again in your heart and determine not to give up, no matter what you're going through. You will see your dreams come true and watch as God lifts you high and promotes you in every area of your life. You will become a force to reckon with and someone that everyone wants to associate with. In places where you've been previously rejected because of your status, you will be called upon because God will do something great and wonderful in your life. He will make you greater than you can ever imagine and cause you to prosper in whatever you lay your hands on. You will have a new song on your lips and something to testify about real soon. Just keep hoping and keep trusting believing in God's plan for your life, and you'll see them come to manifestation. Those promises are not mere promises, and they're not written just to fill up the pages of the Bible. They are real and true. Moreover, God has said that he will honor his word more than his name, and so you can believe that he will bring every single word to pass in your life. He formed you and knows you, but beyond that is the fact that he has plans for your life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 remains a verse that believers need to keep in mind at every point or stage of their life. God clearly stated that he knows the thoughts and the plans that he has for us, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give us a hope and a future. Beyond your wildest dreams and ambitions, God has something beautiful planned out for you. God has plans to make you great and see that you prosper. Abraham was unknown when God called him out of his father's house and made him a father of many nations. So, you see that your background doesn't stop God from locating you. You might be living in an isolated island, unknown by anyone and wondering how you'll ever become great, but that is where God comes in. He will bring you forth by himself and announce you when the time is right. David was just a shepherd boy, and yet God located him right there in the fields. Esther was an orphan in a strange land, and yet God made her to be favored before the king, and she became queen over the land of Persia. Bear in mind that with God, Nothing shall be impossible. He can take a beggar today and make him a prince. He can move you from a state of poverty to becoming a blessing to others. He can do all things, and your life is not an exception. He is a faithful God, and he has never failed. Just look through the scriptures and see how God works and lifts men. As long as you can find it in the scripture, then you can hold God to his word and see how he comes to action. The book of Isaiah tells us that the word of God will not return to him void until it has fulfilled that which it was meant to. That applies to your life as well. The word of God would not return until you've gotten that promotion, until your business begins to boom, until you get to the peak of your career 
until your ministry begins to experience multiplication. You will begin to see God at work in your life and everything that you do. It'll definitely come to pass in your life and you will become great in your family and community. Most times, we're limited by our mindset and the environment we happen to find ourselves have great influence on the way we view or see things. For instance, if you come from a family where no one ever went to college or graduated, you might start seeing it as the norm. Or perhaps you live in an environment filled with paupers. It might soon become the norm that you won't see any reason to dream big. But that's why the Bible tells us not to conform to the world, but become transformed by the word of God. You need to start seeing yourself the way God sees you. It has to start in your mind first, and that's where faith comes in. If you can see it, then you can get there. Forget about what's going on around you now, and don't let it limit you or make you short-sighted in any way. The truth is that people will try to discourage you. They'll even go as far as telling you to be contented with your current level. Yes, contentment is important, but it's also important that you do not become comfortable with mediocrity when there's so much you can be, even greater things you can achieve. Don't be afraid to dream big and don't limit God when you ask for things. Remember, he is the creator of the universe and has all power and resources in his care. Even when people have given up on you and concluded that you won't make it, God is able to raise you and make you bigger than any of them can ever imagine. Look at the life of Jabez in the Bible. His mother named him a son of sorrow, and just like that, it looked as though his destiny had been concluded. However, Jabez refused to remain at that level and went to God in prayer, asking God to enlarge his coast. And he got his answer such that he was more honorable than the rest of his brethren. If you are concerned about your current situation, go to God in prayer and present your requests onto him, knowing full well that he's able to do abundantly and exceedingly above all that you could ever ask or think. A miracle is coming your way, and God is planning a big surprise for you. You're going to increase and multiply. You're going to experience abundance like never before. The, Bi the Bible says that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and it has not entered into the heart of man the things that God has planned for you. Those childhood dreams and imaginations that you had about who you want to be and how great you want to become, God is going to make them a reality. Yes, you can get there. You can be big. You can become a voice that'll be heard across the nation. And God is willing to bring you to that position and height, if only you would believe. As a child of God, the path only shines brighter and brighter for you. The least you can be is where you are currently. It only gets better and better. You'll just keep increasing in whatever endeavor you happen to undertake. Perhaps you have gone from grace to grass, and things are no longer the way it used to be. You should realize that a greater and better future is waiting for you. You will not only recover those things that you've lost, but also grow beyond that level. Stop thinking about just getting a job, because God is looking to make you the chief executive officer. Let God into your life and direct the course of things. That was what Peter did, and it changed the course of his life forever. He had fished all night and caught nothing, but when he allowed Jesus to use his boat and followed his instructions, afterward, he had a great catch such that the net began to break and they had to call other fishermen to help them. That was way bigger than any other catch he ever had. You are also going to experience growth in your life, an enlargement of your coast. You're going to the top and no devil can stop your progress. 
Your life is going to experience a drastic change as God makes you bigger and greater than you've ever been. You are going places and reaching great heights. The Lord won't stop until he's seen you achieve what he has in mind for you. When you think you have it all, you'll see that God has only begun in your life. You will definitely be great.